Hey man, real quick, I want to talk about artificial intelligence. As we know uh, from the prophecies of Daniel, even to Revelations, the Bible talks about you wouldn't be able to buy and sell. Um, but one of the interesting things I think we have to really understand is the days that we're in is really the last days. Um, biblically speaking, we're seeing what the Bible talks about come talked about coming to life you know one of the things i think with growing up here in revelation 13 uh 15 to 17 uh that that mark of the beast not being able to buy and sell uh worshiping the beast's image that system um i thought it was a human a human person but when you think about it technology and artificial intelligence really is that beast artificial intelligence really is the beast system um and 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 when you see what they're doing in in a net, they're talking about robotics and 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 in sense that a lot of the jobs will be um, gone. You know, fifty percent of the jobs will be gone because uh, artificial intelligence, like autonomous cars, will take over doing what humans were used to doing. And they want to roll out what they call basic income. See, but the thing with basic income is. Um, it seemed good on the front, you know, it's like, hey, I don't have to work. I, I'm getting a little pay to get a stipend and get a check or whatever. But if we know how the elitist, how the Satanists work, we best believe there's going to be a catch-22. And I believe the catch-22 is let the, let's the bring the robots in, if you will, to take up the jobs, get the people hooked on basic income, but let allow that to come with some kind of um, stipulation, meaning you have to worship me, the beast, you have to denounce your God. It's not going to be where they're giving anything for free because if that was the case, they wouldn't be pausing in the citizens like they are. So I think the time is coming where, the, where really Revelations, I'm, I'm, I want to read a little bit of Revelations 13 says, 13 uh, verse uh, 15 uh, through 17 says, he was permitted to give a spirit to the image of the beast so that the image of the beast could both speak uh, and cause whoever would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. Uh, and he requires everyone, small or great, rich and poor, free or slave, to be given a mark on his right hand or his um on his uh, mark on his right hand or his forehead so that no one can buy or sell unless he has the mark, the beast name or the number uh, or, or, or the uh, number of his name. So when we're looking at technology, when we're looking at the system, the, the whole artificial intelligence, the power grid, um, uh, surveillance state, all of this ties right into Revelation because to, 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 for, 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 for you to be able to buy and sell, you must have a currency that is global. You must have a, a currency that, in my opinion, is hooked up to some type of technology, te technological system. And AI is that technological system. So as we see uh, them uh, drain the economy from jobs, and I say jobs meaning humans aren't going to be able, aren't going to be doing the jobs they used to do, they're going to implement this basic level of income, uh, which is right around the corner. Or possibly in ten years, I, I heard that 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 the robots could replace the jobs. So once they implement this basic income, I believe it's going to come with a stipulation. I haven't heard anybody say this. I'm the first one that I've heard say this, but I believe it's going to come with a catch twenty two that is the uh, mark of the beast and not that that's the mark of the beast but it's going to introduce uh the mark of the beast so as as believers we have to really be uh have a heads up of what's coming uh from a technological standpoint from them playing god in in, in editing genes i read a story today about a kid skin uh being replaced or something so you know with crisp crispr technology i think that's the name of it so we're seeing all this we're seeing uh sophia the robot who, um, who, 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 um, I think Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia announced that she's a citizen now, a robot as a citizen. Uh, we're seeing the sex robots that they're going to introduce. Um, and all of this is so anti-God and anti-Christ, but it must come about. And I believe eventually we will see as the days of Noah, uh, that Nephilim type of thing return where you'll be get a, a transhumanist mix of a human and an animal hybrid DNA thing. So we just got to stay woke in these times and stay prayed up because what the enemy is doing is is not frightening to us but it's just prophecy being fulfilled but we best to believe we better be woke and not sleep because every day it seems like the news is coming out so i just want to kind of give a little quick news update talking about artificial intelligence research it look look you know if, if god leads you to research this stuff check into it pray stay prayed up and pray for the body of christ that we don't be misled in this day and hour peace guys